uh, earlier. Does this game mean a little something more? I mean, I know uh, the idea is to kind of treat them all the same, but for a guy like you, uh, mean a little something. I mean, you know, I think it's all kind of objective. Um, you know, right now, obviously, this game means a lot to us as, just as an organization um, in general. Uh, you know, we've we've kind of struggled this year, so um, you know. These next three games mean bowl eligibility. They mean you know getting to extend your season and getting to play, you know, just an extra game with these guys. So um, yeah, I mean, I'd say these really these next three games mean, mean a lot to us. Is there something different and difficult is that knowing that last year this time you guys were trying to get in the house in the playoff, and this year you're just trying to get ball over. Uh, yeah, you know, we're we're a different team this year than we were last year. Uh, you know, it, it takes a lot of maturity to kind of sit back and and look in the mirror a little bit and, and assess kind of what we've done wrong, uh, you know, what we've done right. Um, you know, it, it's just realizing that this is a different year. This is a new season. Uh, this is a new team. So, um, you know, you'd love to be in the position that we were last year, but it's not last year. Not to reflect on last year, but you guys were able to match and even exceed the physicality of Texas last year. And I think that was a big reason you guys came out on top. How can you guys replicate, I guess, that performance on Saturday on both sides of the ball? Uh, you know, in, in my opinion, we just have to we have to get back to playing, you know, the type of the type of football we played last year. Um, just from a like you said, a physicality standpoint, um, I think that there's been certain you know drives that we haven't been hungry enough, uh, so to speak. We haven't we haven't played as physical as we can. We haven't uh, you know as a team, as an offense, defense, whatever it may be, uh, you know, we haven't exerted ourselves um, to the full potential. We haven't really like emptied the tank yet. Um, and, and it's been really disappointing to see, but, you know, as being a leader on the team and a captain and all that, um, you know, it's just kind of seeing that and kind of, kind of squishing that right whenever you see it and, and letting everybody know like, Hey, this is why we were good last year. We were good because, um, of the effort we played with, of the physicality we played with, um, you know, we just wanted to win more than everybody else that we played. Uh, so, I mean, you know, it's just, it's using these next couple of games to kind of, Kind of get back to that mindset. With the exception of one game, you guys have been a one-score game. They were, you know, on all those losses. How frustrating is that, knowing how close you guys really are, but just haven't been able to get over the hump? Yeah, that's kind of been the the consensus for us all year. Um, you know, we've we've come in a lot of Sundays, and even after a couple of our wins, you know, we've been, uh, you know, we've had to hear the coaches say, you know, guys were this close, we're this close. Uh, you know, at some point in time, you just have to get tired uh, of hearing that, and as a player. Um, you have to do everything you can to, you know, make sure that, that that's not getting said on Sunday after a game. We know it's we know it's Texas and you guys want to win as a team, but does it give you any extra motivation doing well playing against your road team? I mean, you know, I, I try to play as good as I can every week. Um, you know, I, I owe it to the guys in the locker room, the coaching staff here. Um, I owe it to TCU to to give them my you know full effort every week. So, I mean. Yeah, there's probably going to be a little bit more hype around this game, um, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm I'm not going to play this game any different than I played against Texas Tech or BYU or, or you know anybody else. Is it hard for you to believe they're not going to be in the Big Twelve after this? You know, not really. Um, whenever the SEC talk was kind of started, uh, I was still there, so I mean that I kind of you know I've kind of gotten used to the fact that. You know, they're, this is their last year there, and you know they're they're trying to make a statement, and they've they've done a really good job of it this year. What did they present to you guys, challenge-wise, on the defensive side of the ball? I mean, their their D line is one of the best D lines in the country. Uh, they fly around, they play with a lot of effort. They're really physical. Um, you know, they're really they're really good in the back end, um, and you know that that's just something that we're we're gonna have to handle. We're gonna have to be more excited to play than they are this week. Um, we're going to have to be as physical as we've ever been this week. And we're, we're going to have to play with a lot of tempo and we're going to have to play really fast. And we have to be really good at, you know, just doing our job, just, you know, doing your 111th, uh, play in and play out. And, you know, that that's how, you know, you, you get to compete and, you know, have a chance to win. Jared, I'm doing a story on Monty Bailey. How would you describe him as a player and what were your first impressions of him when you saw him get a handoff for the first time? Um, Amani is your, um, you know, he's, he's the running back that you want to have, in my opinion, on an offense. Uh, he runs the ball really aggressive. He's really angry uh, every time he touches the ball. Um, 
you know, the first first time I saw him kind of rip one in practice, you know, you, you can kind of see the potential and you can kind of see that he's going to be special. Um, and he's honestly, with, um, with, with the snaps that he's gotten this year, you know, he's done a really good job for us. He's broken some long ones. Uh, he, he scored a couple good times. I mean, he, you know, he put us back in the game against Texas Tech. We, we rode his energy um, with his first, with, or with that first touchdown he scored. We rode that energy for a very long time. So, um, you know, he's been very special for us this year. And uh, it's, it's been really nice to see. As one of the captains on this team this year, what has your message been to the rest of the guys as you guys have gone through these ups and downs? Just, I mean, just stay loyal to your team, stay loyal to the university, um, you know, stay loyal to the coaches and what they've been preaching. Um, you know, just, just because it hasn't worked out every week for us or, you know, certain plays haven't worked out for us or, you know, whatever the case may be, just because whatever the situation is hasn't been what you thought it would be, um, that doesn't, that shouldn't sway you one way or the other. You shouldn't be talking about, like, I don't, um, you know, we don't let anybody in the locker room say anything about transferring or anything like that. Like, you pick this school, you you want to come here and, and have a chance to contribute, then you're going to do it, and you're going to do it as good as you can to, your best, to the best of your ability. Um, just because we've lost a couple games this year, and, you know, whether you thought we were going to lose them or not, you know, if, just because we lost a couple games this year, um, that, that shouldn't determine how bought in you are to, to you know, the program and, and your your team and the coaching staff. Jared, I want to ask you all where we got to. Um, DJ Rogers, uh, probably his best game last week. Give you some sense as to how you're seeing him grow up and mature in that role. Yeah, it's been, you know, he's he's been, He's been great for us, I think. Um, you know, with Chase Curtis not being able to play last week, uh, he stepped up into a big role, and um, you know, he scored that big touchdown to start the game off. Um, you know, I, I, I personally, you know, just being honest with you, I, I didn't see him being as good of a tight end as you know what he has been. Uh, you know, he played slot a little bit of slot for us last year. Uh, you know, last year I kind of thought that that's where he excelled at, but um, you know, we moved him over for. Uh, spring and camp and you know he did a really good job and he's just continued to grow every day and you know that just speaks to you know who he is as a player and his worth uh, work ethic you know he, sh he shows up every day you know ready to absorb information ready to learn um, you know willing to put his body on the line you know for the offense and um, you know you you need guys like that uh, to be a part of your team but also just for him I mean that's why he's you know excelled so much as is, is what he has